Welcome back to another episode of Dang and Rupa Trigger Happy Havoc. In this episode, I don't really necessarily know what we're going to do, but all I know is we got to get to Jabberwocky Park really, really, really fast. If we don't get there, there will be problems. Hi, Mekon! I, yeah, like I said, I knew you need echo blocking. That's something I need to get. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm such a slow poke. I'll head over the park right away. But, 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 I'm not being slow on purpose. I, I, I tried to leave my cottage as soon as I heard the announcement. Uh, but I tripped again. Uh, I must get a lot of hate for making excuses like this. Uh, people are probably thinking, if, if you have time for that, then hurry up. That girl, she tripped again? She's seriously pitiful. Yeah, I hate to say it, but I kind of agree with freaking Hayame here. Like, I love her thought process and who she is and what she cares about. But, oh, hot diggity darn, does she have a clumsiness problem. But, like, at least this time we didn't get a disturbing image, at least. I'll, I'll give it that. Like, no disturbing image does help. So, yeah, like I said, the big thing here is we have to get to Jabberwocky and figure out what the heck is going on. And I have a feeling, I have a very, very, very big feeling we're going to get our next motive. Which, is that necessarily a bad thing? Well, no, but it's just something that I worry about. Because, yes, if it is our next motive then we really need to make sure that this group of 14 students is really on top of their game, right? Because they need to not make sure that they are being safe. They need to make sure that they are not submitting to what Monokuma wishes. And that's not an easy task. Hi, Akane. Yahoo! Yahoo! I'm the first one here. The curry is all mine. She totally took the bait. Indeed. I wonder what kind of curry it is. You too? What's this scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? What are you, you guys are so fucking stupid. Don't get worked up over something so idiotic. Hey, what the hell is Monokuma? Get out of here. Or where the hell is Monokuma? Get out of here. Okie dokie. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for the miracle of waiting. Oh, there we go. Everybody arrived. Hey, Monokuma. I was the first one here. That means I get the curry. Dibs on the curry. No need to rush. No need to rush. I'll properly treat you to my special maid, Monokuma Curry, tomorrow night. M Monokuma Curry? What? It's an extremely delicious curry made from the unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. Mm. I can't imagine anything delicious based off of those ingredients. <laughs> no worries. It takes skill to make curry nasty. This truly is a nice line. But... It is meaningless. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what business, what your business is. However, you should know, I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare. Understood? If this is something foolish, know that I will feed you to the re feed you your remains to these beasts. Huh? Huh? You haven't noticed yet? The reason I summoned you guys, if you look closely at this park, you should be able to notice. Huh? The, the arcade game is what I saw first. W what is this? Uh, isn't this an arcade machine? <laughs> That's correct. So, I would like the long-awaited reaction time to begin. Don't tell me you're going to tell us to play the game. <gasps> hey, what? What's this game? What games are on this? She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. Mm. I've only prepared one game, but it is a truly a gem. After all, it is a game that I personally created. Huh? You did. Then, then it's not something I could possibly look forward to playing. No, no. Don't compare it to amateur fan service games. You know that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. The famous game. Now then. Oh, it's going. Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Oh, 
I don't know who said that. Hyoko. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, Ace Attorney reference? <laughs> Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side-scroller. I have no interest in weak things like video games. Mm, Nekamaro, you gotta go down a couple points for that one, buddy. I'm sorry, but like, you have to deal with it because that is just how I roll. But, you know what? Here's the difference, Nekamaru. I need you to deal with what I like because then I will deal with you like... No, not really. It's hard, though, because that, that would be kind of hard in a relationship, in a way. Because, like, if you think about it, right? Like, if you, because of being someone that has very well-rounded balance of interests, it makes that stuff difficult. Because a lot of people don't understand that concept in and of itself. And <clears throat> it's very... You, like, are supposed to be subjected to this line and this line only and if you're into this then you have to be this that and the other but no that's not how that works i mean if that's how it worked life would kind of be boring but you know long tangent aside i understand that you don't like video games so um i can teach you that's all that i was gonna say about that and i don't even know what generation a game that old is uh, we can't call 1996 things old I'm not accepting of that. 1996 does not equal old. Okay? It's fine. With your face, I find that hard to believe. Boring. But adventure games are, like, boring and tedious to play, right? Don't dismiss adventure games. Besides, there's lots of reasons to make one. You know, like, budgetary reasons. Man, and I was a big fan of the series, uh... I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. What are you saying? Shouldn't you be tainting your face with the tears of gratitude? I've cast a spotlight on a neglected title, you know? And what's the point of this game anyways? Mm -hmm. Hmm? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? Well, <laughs> you certainly noticed the good part! Oh no! Gonna be your next motive. <sighs> oh, are we gonna have a video? Is this how my guy is gonna get murdered? I swear I'm gonna be pissed if like this is okay. So this is kind of a fun side tangent. So I I actually enjoy writing, right? And one of my actual stories that I wrote was a futuristic drama. And I didn't ever, ever finish it, but it was, I can't remember what it was called now, and I kind of feel bad, um, but it was basically set in 2035, and humans became so overpopulated that they tried to use gaming as a tool to filter whether or not um, people were worthy, um, and like, you know, and it's talking about like training and having to train in these areas, and all of that and like you had to show improvement you had to show that you were getting better now and it was one of those like 1986 games called astro warriors which is a game that like continually goes right it's not one of those games you just stop it's a very arcade style and because of that you had to get the most points possible and if you were not in the bottom like it was like a bottom two because i was like too nice um but really it was supposed to be more showing of like the bottom 10% would get just axed and just get murdered, right? I swear if we have a similar similar scenario like this and that's kind of how we have to determine things and the person who's in last gets intertwined with uh, and perceived as the bad guy in this Twilight Syndrome murder case. Oh god. Get bored 
the next black and doesn't show up soon. This game is the motive. Actually, the truth is, the game's theme is a missing link. You know, the reoccurring theme for mysteries, right? Kind of like a hidden connection. But what, what, what does that mean? Fair. If you're interested, then try playing it. Uh, okay. Hey. You can't. You gotta say no, it's a trap. Hey, hey if the next, if it's that... If that's the next motive, won't it be okay if we just don't play it? <laughs> You're absolutely right. You are quite the genius. I see. That never occurred to me. But are you sure you want to do that? Learning the motive means you're going to be prepared, you know. Humans who are prepared and humans who aren't. I don't really have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? What? What do you mean? For example... If someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill ya! Watch out. If in the context of a preemptive strike, that's a truly fatal. Hey, hey. What do you mean? <laughs> you guys are all enemies, you know. It is really all right for your enemies to have... Is it really all right for your enemies to have an advantage like that? If you're going to just ignore it, then do whatever you like. Even if you're Fully aware of the situation. Bye. Bye. Bye, Monokuma. What the heck? Hey, what should we do? Even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyways, it would be too dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There's no mistaking that. You are right. You, you are right, but it might be better if we wait and see what how this plays out. But if, wouldn't it be bad if someone, like, secretly played the game while we were waiting? Whoever gets the next motive would become the hunter and the rest of us would become the prey. Th that is a way messed up way to think about it. What are you saying? But it's true. Huh. Huh. It's your loss if you end up dying. Well, we, what we need to do is kill if we want to win anyway. I don't want to end up like Biaki or Tara Teru. After Fuyu Higo spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. But, but Fuyu Higo makes a good point. Huh? You two, what are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? <laughs> it's not like that. I mean, how could you... How can you be cautious if you don't know what the motive is? Hmm. That that might be true, but... Nope. It doesn't matter. Huh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Killing. I will I'll never. never oh. It. I'll never let another killing happen. Oh, no. I. Mm. Is my gamer girl going? It's scary. Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and Let the sound of the ocean shake. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good. Good. Night, Monokuma. It's already that time, hmm? Better that we break for today. Hmm. I'll just try and think about tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. But, but regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Um, me, me, me too. It's definitely impossible. For now. Then we should turn in for the day. I s see. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Burdened by the uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages, but still. That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never, ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all all of this in her own way, but... Oh, Chiaki. I feel sleepy. I should go back, too. I can't read her at all. Monokuma Theater! Motive to kill someone, huh? Doesn't... It is doing nothing at all, correct? Or is trying to stop it from happening while we're aware of the danger, correct? There's no way I'd understand something like that. In the messed up world, there is no way I can know what is right. Troubling. 
You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I am so jealous of people that who are, aren't successful and don't have anything. The biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely your past successes. Those always hold you back, pulled me back all the time. I am so jealous of the people who don't have anything. People who have no expectations sure are happy. But I mean, uh, they can't do anything they want without worrying about anything either. Man, being successful is just so tough. <clears throat> Eh. I pseudo disagree with that. Like, not from a point of like I'm successful and all, because I'm definitely not. But I feel like I've been successful in a lot of things in my own right, and the the measure of success is completely different dependent on the person. It's a very person to person argument. Anyway. I should go to the restaurant for now. Yeah, we shall. Um, I'm gonna check as if by habit I left my cottage and just so happened to bump into a certain someone. Fuyuhiko! Okay, I was not I was not expecting to bump into Fuyuhiko, but I'm not mad about it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's you, Fuyuhiko. How unlucky. I have to see your face this morning. Just so you know, I don't want to talk to you at all. And I'm in a really bad mood right now. It's not like you're going to the restaurant now, right? Were you planning to go somewhere else? Shut up. Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my cottage, so leave me alone. Hey, you say you're going back. Did you go somewhere? It's got nothing to hey, do with you. didn't I tell you I don't want to talk? Is it that game? What, what do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hand? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Shut up! What makes you think you have any right to question me? I am not trying to question you. I was just... So you're saying you don't like the fact that I acted on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that? Huh? Are you going to tie me up like Nagido? Seriously, I didn't mean... Ugh. Don't talk to me ever again. If you do, I swear I'm going to kill you. That guy, he's so dangerous if we leave him alone. I, I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. Um, I don't necessarily know if that's the course that main character should take on this. I personally am not... Oh, I don't have any mess to clean. Cool. I'm personally not one that really talks about my outside interactions to people. I don't know. That's just not personally how I work. I tend to leave those interactions alone, I guess. But that's that. I mean, I get the allure of telling other people what's going on. But I mean, that's information that you have that's beneficial to you. But you can't make any predisposed judgment either. I don't know. I'm not a fan of just telling everybody, Ah, you got played the game. Like, that, that that could spread a rumor that could be so dangerous. And it could be completely wrong, too. Even though it's heavily implied, but... The wind is very broad. I do not... I do hope it is not an ominous potent. Uh, I hope not either, but it probably is, Gundam. Here's the thing. If anything like that happens, it's usually a side of things to come. The na nature is a very telling force. Oh, hi, Mihiru. Ah, nice timing. I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting, huh? Hey. Um, I was thinking about delivering this. Is that someone? Is this someone's breakfast? Ah, uh, is that for Nagito? I mean, if we just leave him there all tied up, he is going to starve. Like, how long are they planning on continuing this anyway? Well, there's no way that he, we can keep him tied up forever. Aww. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, but maybe it's better that if he's tied up forever. Hmm? What does that mean? Actually, 
I actually went to see Nagito earlier. I kindly brought him breakfast. And then, listen to this, he seriously pissed me off. He said he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? So that's why you're running back and forth. That must be hard on you. Really? Hard? Do you really think so? Hey, hey. Then bring this to Nagito on my behalf. Huh? Jeez. I was forced to run back and forth too many times and I'm done being his maid. Not only that, I just remembered that I have a little business to take care of. Business. Thank you. So thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. Mahiro pushed the tray into my hands and I ran away before I could object. Jeez. It was always something. As I recall, he's tied up in the old building. Yes. I don't know. I'm glad they told us, I guess. I didn't need to know that because I already knew that already. But, I mean, the game the game telling us that is probably critical information. Just because, you know, like, that some people aren't going to remember that detail. Like, I mean, yeah, I remember the detail because I specifically went to the old building. I'm going the wrong way. Even the, the game even told me, and I still went the wrong direction. Oh, hi, Kazuichi. Uh. Man, it's so unlike me to sleep in. Oh, what is that tray? Are you going to eat somewhere with a nice view? Hey, hey. hey, hey don't tell me. Hey. You're not going to give a picnic lunch to, with Miss Sonia, are you? Going to have a picnic lunch with Miss Sonia, are you? No. You should know I'm into Nekamaru already. Like, if I was going to eat with Nekamaru, I wouldn't eat the bread and the stuff. I, yeah, it's it's a different kind of eating. Hmm? It's not, you're not even lunchtime. This is breakfast for Nagido. Well. Oh, I see. Sorry to trouble you taking, uh, with taking care of him. If you really mean that, you want to switch with me? Hmm. Well, that's obviously a little awkward. <laughs> I'll let you handle it, Hayame. Of course you will. Of course, you will make me deal with my freaking least favorite character so far. Oh, I don't want to deal with Nagito. Monami, what the hell? No, no, no. This old building is being renovated. You cannot go inside. If I'm not allowed inside, then why is Nagito inside? Oh, what? You know about it too, Hayame? Because Nikamaru and Kazuichi essentially told me that Monami, the only one we is the only one that we can rely on, and if, if it's true that Nagito needs to reflect on his actions, I, I came here to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? Sister, hey. starve! Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it okay to go inside then? Yes. Make sure you tell him to chew thoroughly before he swallows. Uh, oh, oh, for a second I thought the fire extinguisher was gone. And I was like, oh god, this is a problem. There's going to be a fire to the old building. It's like, no. So Nagi just tied up at the back. Instinctively, I gulped back the, all my dried saliva. Why am I so, so nervous? Because it's Nagito! Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously opened the door to the dining hall. I swear. Well, Nagito's not dead. Because if Nagito was dead, then Mahiru would have told us, right? So we should be okay. As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Hajime? Uh, could it be? Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Wow, I'm so happy. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality. But feel free to relax. He was the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness, as if a black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but one I couldn't help feeling at that moment. Huh? What happened? Your face looks kind of scary. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just came to bring you some food. So come on, eat it. Oh, you're not going to feed me. Oh my god, Nagito! What do you mean? Well, I can't eat it on my own. You know, since my hands are all tied up. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me. So I'm glad you're the one who came. Oh, I get it. Friggin' Mahiru. That must be why she asked me to go instead of her. 
Probably. Mihiru does that te have a tendency to just be like, well, uh, I'm going to get out of an uncomfortable situation by, like, being, like, the forcing presence to get out of it. Like, she will trailblaze her way. And that's kind of why I love her in a lot of ways and why she's been one of my higher tier characters um, over the course of the playthrough. And honestly, at the end of the playthrough, you'll, I'm going to post um, what that is and how that, what that looks like um, over the chapters. Um, but, yeah. to take care of huh why do you know that by the way i heard about the twilight syndrome murder case was it i have mixed feelings i really like that game a lot what D don't change the subject i'm asking you oh well i'm a little disappointed it's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you so are you really planning not to play the game do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Well, that is... You guys should confront it. After all, hope springs when you confront despair. Nagito is really feeling like a third bad guy. Which... Here's the, the thing, though. Like, and I say a third bad guy because Monomi and stuff. But he's really... Like... I feel like he's the character that you're meant to hate, and then there's gonna be I, there's he, he there's one of two ways they can go with this. They can continue pushing that dis that hope that like like that cr almost like a creation of Monomi and M M Makoto. What the frick, Mon Monokuma, because he kind of is that weird mixture between the two. So there's something going on divisively within the plot because monomy is that hope 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 and shining the light on hope but knowing that it would lead to despair monokuma wants to just push the despair agenda and then you have nagito who is giving you this is like when i when i said monomy was false hope i was wrong Nagito definitely is false hope. Like, he almost sounds un almost sounds so reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't the solution. Just, I'm just putting it off. But I don't want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime, weren't you planning to feed me? Hey, Hajime. Yeah, I don't have to feed you. You, you can bend over. Damn it. I barely talked to him and I'm already not feeling so well. But I really can't stop thinking about him. Is it really okay to leave the game alone? While I'm doing nothing about it, someone else is. No, nothing good could come from thinking about it. There's something else that I need to do anyway. Free time! Free time! Anyways, thank you guys so very much for watching this episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. We kind of got a nice, nice kind of free time thing, and we'll just have a chill and free time episode um, that leads into whatever's next in the next episode, because I don't think the free time is going to take that long, but um, definitely starting off chill is going to be nice. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys all so very much, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!